Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Electrical Infinity. In this video, I am going to explain you the working and wiring of forward reverse starter. The circuit diagram for this starter is given in the description. Kindly check that below before watching this video. The apparatus you require are an OLR, two contactors, one for forward control and one for reverse control of the motor, one off push button with on indication. Here you can see these are the terminal for off push button and these are the terminal for on indication. And also you require two on push buttons with off indication and also you require a trip indication too. Here you can see this one is a trip indication, a screwdriver, cutter and a bunch of wires. A single phase wire from 6 ampere MCB is connected to 95th terminal of the OLR. As you can see here I am connecting a single phase wire to the 95th terminal of the OLR. These terminals 95 and 96 terminal of the OLR are the NC terminals. So from the 96 terminal I am taking a wire and connecting it to off push button. So from 96 I am connecting a wire to the off push button. You can connect to any terminal of the off push button it act as same. So I am connecting one wire from the 96 to the off push button which is used for switching off the motor entirely. And from the second terminal of the off push button I am taking four wires. As you can see here I have connected four wires to the off push button output and connect it to the forward contactor. This one is a forward contactor and connect one of the wire to the NO of the forward contactor. As you can see here I am connecting the wire to the NO of the forward contactor. Right After that take another wire and another wire is connected to forward on push button. This one is a forward on push button and it is used to switch on the motor in forward direction. So one wire is connected to NO of the forward contactor and one wire is connected to forward on push button. Similarly the wiring for reverse direction is also done in the same way. One of the wire is connected to reverse contactor NO and another wire is connected to reverse on push button. As you can see here I am connecting it to reverse on push button. So four wires are taken from here and it is connected to forward NO and forward on push button and remaining two wires are connected to reverse NO contactor and reverse on push button. Right after that Take two wires from forward on push button output as I am doing here and connect it to NO terminal of contactor. As you can see here I am connecting it to NO terminal of contactor and another wire from this forward on push button is connected to NC of the reverse contactor. Right. So two wires from the on push button. One of the wire is connected to NO of the uh, forward contactor and another wire is connected to NC of the reverse contactor. Similar wiring are done for reverse on push button. So this wire is connected to reverse NO and another wire is connected to forward NC. Right. So this is how the wiring is done. After that, take a wire from the NC of the reverse contactor and connect it to the A1 of the forward conductor. So this is interlocking between forward and reverse conductor from NC of the reverse to A1 of the forward conductors. So as you can see here from NC of reverse conductor to A1 of the forward conductor and similar welding is done for forward conductor interlocking too. So from NC of the forward conductor to A1 of the reverse conductor, right? This one is interlocking between forward and reverse conductor. Now after that as you can see here I am connecting a neutral here from A2 of the forward conductor to A2 of the reverse conductor and from A2 of the reverse conductor I am connecting a wire to the neutral. As you can see here I have connected a wire from A2 of the reverse conductor to neutral. So let's test it. As you can see here I am pressing the forward on push button and forward conductor is getting on and if I am pressing reverse conductor on push button reverse conductor is getting on. Right, you can switch off the both conductors by using off push button here. So we are done with control circuit now begin the wiring of power circuit. So I am taking three phases R, Y, B and connecting it to L1, L2, L3 terminal of the forward conductor. Right. So I am taking three phases R, Y, B and connecting these wires as you can see here R phase I am connecting it to L1 terminal, Y phase to L2 terminal and B phase to L3 terminal. After that take wire from L1 and connect it to the L3 of the reverse conductor from L1 to L3. Don't connect it from L1 to L1. Connect it from L1 to L3. Similarly L2 is connected to L2 of the reverse conductor and L3 from the forward is connected to L1 of the reverse conductor. 
right as you can see here from l1 to l3 l2 to l2 l3 to l1 after that t1 t2 t3 from the reverse conductor are connected to t1 t2 t3 of forward conductor so from t1 to t1 t2 to t2 and t3 to t3 right after that an olr is connected to the t1 t2 t3 of the forward conductor as you can see here i am doing here loose out the screws and insert the olr to t1 t2 t3 terminal and tighten up the screws after inserting the olr into the conductor power terminals here you can see there are three power output terminals of the olr and motor is connected to these terminals so ryb phase says from the olr is connected to motor terminals so as you can see here this one is an r phase and from olr it is connected to motor so ryb phases of the motor are connected to olr now let's begin the testing of it the control circuit and power wiring is done the remaining connections are just for indication wiring i will show you at the end so let's test whether the motor is working in a correct direction or not as you can see here i am pressing up on forward on push button and motor is running in reverse direction and if i am pressing a reverse on push button the motor is running in reverse direction the student get tense because of this problem there is nothing to worry about it it is just a simple problem you have to just reverse the phase terminals of the motor as you can see here i am replacing the phase terminals r r and b phases so i am connecting r phase to the b phase and b phase to the r phase and the motor will run in normal condition as you can see here so the phases are reversed and i am switching on the motor again let's see whether it works fine or not so i switch on and i have pressed the forward on push button and motor is running in forward direction as you can see the arrow mark it is rotating clockwise let's see once again so as you can see here it is rotating clockwise and if i press reverse on push button the motor runs in reverse direction as you can see the arrow is rotating in anti clockwise direction now coming to indicator wiring here you can see blue wires are the phase wire connected to indicator and these black wires are the neutral wire which are looped to the indicator here you can see all neutral wires are looped to the indicator and at the last indicator I, as you can see here i have connected two wires and one of the wire is connected to a2 of the conductor we are using this on indication for forward condition of the motor so the wire from this indicator is connected to no right so phase wire from this indicator is connected to no and this indicator we are using it for reverse running condition of the motor so the phase wire from this on indicator is connected to no of the reverse conductor we are using this green indicator for forward off indication so the phase wire from here is connected to nc of the forward conductor similarly we are using this in second green indicator for reverse off indication so the phase wire from here is connected to reverse conductor nc last but not the least we have to do the wiring for trip indicator so the wire from 95 is connected to 97 of the olr using a jumper or a small wire we can call it as small wire and the wire from 97 the this terminal 97 and 98 are no terminals and the wire from 98 is connected to trip indicator as you can see here the wire from 97 is connected to trip indicator and a neutral is connected to another second terminal of this trip indicator so the neutral wire from this indicator is connected to a2 of the conductor you can connect it to either forward conductor a2 or reverse conductor a2 so from 97 a phase is connected to indicator and the neutral from this indicator is connected to a2 of the forward conductor finally the wiring for forward reverse starter is done let's switch it on and let's test whether the connections are right or not so the here you can see green push button this one is an forward on push button and also act as forward off indication the red push button you can see this one is an off push button and it also act as forward on indication of the motor this one is an reverse on indication reverse on push button and reverse off indicator and a trip indicator as you can see here i am pressing forward on push button and the forward indication is on which means motor is running in forward direction and reverse off indication is also on which means the motor is not running in reverse direction so as you can see here once again the motor is running in forward direction and the on indication forward on indication is on right now press the reverse on push button now as you can see here the motor is running in reverse direction as you can see here the motor is running in reverse direction and the reverse indication is on and the forward off indication is on which means the motor is not running in forward direction 
Now I am going to test the trip indication of the motor. So here you can see this yellow indicator. This one is a trip indicator. I am pressing the test button on the OLR and the circuit get trips and the motor gets off and any of the push button does not work. And if you press the reset button, then the settings will be resetted and the motor gets on again by pressing the push buttons and trip indication gets off. So this is how the forward reverse starter work for forward and reverse operation of motor and the wiring is performed in the way I have performed in the next video I am going to upload a video on DOL starter, star delta starter as well as the circuit diagram explanation of it. So thanks for watching this video friends if you want to run electrical up to infinite then hit the subscribe button like this video and share this video with your friends who are doing electrical engineering. Thanks for watching this video.